So we're getting ready to kick off with our official ball of the Auckland Rugby League Steedon and these are the Sports Safe ARL 9 balls for the Sports Safe tournament. Trying to give as many people that to sponsor the Auckland Rugby League a plug as we can. Of course and they deserve it as well. We appreciate our loyal sponsors and uh, also a quick thank you to uh, all of the volunteers out here today from the clubs in Auckland Rugby League, our referees our uh, match managers and all of the club staff here at the Hibiscus Coast. As Watamata get us underway and there's drama straight away from the kickoff. I think the, uh, something's gone wrong with the kickoff, so we'll go back inside again. Is he on the halfway line? No, he wants to come back. Uh, it's because we've got three lines down here. I think the, um, the two outside lines are painted lines from TAG football. We'll touch and uh, we're up and running and we're all good to go now so the game underway and point Chev little generals will have first use of the ball and it's the big fella with the initial carry the uh, the handwriting is pretty rough on the point Chev team list so uh, we'll do our best to identify the players ladies and gentlemen we do apologize if we get one wrong point Chev Leah shifting it to their left hand edge Good tackle by the Watermata Centre. Second row. As Utah Yuka with a good carry forward and the little number nine nips out of dummy half. It's Peyton Taplin. And Utah Yuka with a nice little chip and chase. The big fellas after it, but well regathered in the end by the Watermata number six, Motera. He's tied it up really well. And. Um, Oh, little juggle there. The uh, Watermata Seagulls have to show a wee bit of patience now as they grind it out from inside their 20. Of course, Watermata come off an excellent season in the Shaman Cup competition, the Auckland Second Division. Did really well, I think probably overachieved by most people's standards. So uh, they come into this one, no doubt, with plenty of confidence, despite the fact that they're coming up against the Fox Memorial Club. As they work it out towards the left-hand side now, And it's a short side dart again from Wider Matter. Nice little fend off. Out there right up against the touchline as we see our match managers in the background there. Slow play, the ball appeals for a penalty and it is forthcoming. So Wider Matter now will get the penalty and they'll put Point Chev under some real pressure here. Interesting to see how Point Chev react. We saw them well overrun in the uh, first game, the Little Generals. And the club's Ortex side also losing on the backfield earlier today. And I think the little general name there is uh, harking back to uh, one of the famous uh, halfbacks that come out of uh, Auckland Rugby League is uh, the little general himself, Stacey Jones, um, as a schoolboy pirate growing up there in the club down there, and hence why they've called themselves the little generals for the Sports Safe ARL 9s. So here we go now. White amount of seagulls down inside the uh, 20. Let's see what they do with the ball as come. they are now attacking the uh, Pirates line. Yeah, back out towards the right and there's numbers here if they can execute it oh. and it's put down in the end by the number two, Jonathan Sophia. He was into a little bit of space, juggled it and then in the end it uh, rolls into touch. So some decent play there from Wider Matter but the execution just a little bit off. Point Chev now will work it off their line. And he looks like he has a bit of speed there, uh, winger there. Um, and I don't know whether that's because of the pink socks. Or Sevilla being, um, I'm going to go with a Fijian name. Well, pink, pink makes everyone faster, doesn't it, Troy? Well, that and coloured boots. That's right, and there are some interesting boots on display today. You'll see uh, later on when we stream the uh, Hibiscus Coast game. Liam Eklund in the uh, bright orange boots. He's already been getting a little bit of stick from uh, his mates here at Stanmore Bay for that. As Point Chev looks like going to touch, so both teams prepared to chance their arm early in this one, but uh, so far no score. Both teams probably struggling to execute a little bit. I'm sure that will get better as the game goes on, as White Matter work it back towards halfway now, and Christopher Cowan with the first carry. And there's a little juggle of the ball there. He hasn't got away with it. I thought he might have at first, so lots and lots of errors and you're probably just seeing uh, in comparison to the last game we streamed just a little bit of a drop in quality in the teams here 
couple of yeah, simple little Yeah, it just seems to be a, um, they've sort of gone in a little, little bit of an arm wrestle up and down the field, but there hasn't been um, too much of a threat on the, uh, on anyone's try line at this time. And um, Point Chevalier are on a roll now against the White Amount of Seagulls. And a little bit untidy, a little loose, trying to tidy it up. And uh, just an interesting point to note there, Troy, we see um, Sione Field, who we've known as a, as a kind of stalwart of the uh, Otahu Club, I guess, a, a loyal servant over the last few years. He's obviously uh, trying his luck at Point Chev this year. Uh, he's a quality player, one of the better second rowers running around in the uh, Fox Memorial competition. So interesting to see how he goes today. Uh, he's had a couple of nice carries already, so uh, another good part, I guess, of the Sports Safe ARL 9s is a first look at uh, some player transfers and, uh, and who's trying out at new clubs. And there is a terrible chop out wide from Aaron Smith, the number three. We've seen some tries go big in already today, so the execution just a little bit off. You would expect that with it being pre-season, of course. It is a pre-season competition, uh, but some nice open footy nonetheless. So why the matter now working it off their line? Yeah, and I think that um, just takes a little bit of sting out of the attack for them. And uh, White Amanda get another chance now to run it out. Um, good wide pass here. Here we go. And a nice Each little good step. Yeah, nice little in and away there from uh, Mave Muru. And to dummy half is Richard Corbeau. Back towards the six. Nice little cutout pass. And the point shift defense are not shuffling here, and they are in trouble as a result. Utah Yorker gets back well to make a tackle. He's a quality player, of course. We have oh. seen him over the last few years playing in the college competition. A West Auckland boy. A little chip over the top there, regathered by Point Chev, and that was really a nothing kick, wasn't it, Troy? A little chip and chase there wasn't yeah, much on. Yeah, um, probably not the right option there. Had, had players outside of him to the right. And um, still, they've got the right into the territory and uh, they've got to really muscle up here and tackle, contain them down here, work hard, work hard, control the ruck and that's not how to control the ruck as they come straight up the centre and there's some good metres gained. And it's a good opportunity to mention here you know, we've got eight clubs on display here at the Sports Safe ARL 9s, it is uh, nearing footy season so look uh, for kids or adults or uh, anyone in between, get in contact with your local club if you're interested in playing, clubs are always looking uh, for new players of course. So uh, you can find all the details on the Auckland Rugby League website, aucklandleague.co.nz. Click on Find the Club and, uh, and get in touch. Play the greatest game of all. As we see, Point Chev receive a penalty now and a good opportunity to mount some pressure late in the first half here. And it's a carry forward from the number 16, Lenny Lemire. Carries it up towards the sticks. Taplin at dummy half. They spread it out towards the left. And I think that may be Sione Fuel who has barged over. We highlighted him earlier, but we're going to have a knock-on. I think Sione thought he'd scored the try. Was it gladly accepting the handshakes from uh, his teammates, but there is a knock-on there. So why the matter dodge a bullet late in the first half here at the Sports Safe ARL 9s at Stanmore Bay. And um, just on that end piece there from Corey, we're a nil-all draw, and that's pretty reflective of the game at the moment. Um, you know, what a matter probably been let off the hook there the last couple of times down inside there. Uh, 20, and as you hear from the ground announcement, we're coming down to the last final stages as we go to the half-time break. Uh, unless something dramatically happens, this is going to be a nil-all draw. However, what a matter have just shifted it wide to the left. Here we go. Speech this Prince's ears back. Jonathan Corbeau out on the left out there, I believe. We'll wait for some identification on that number. But it's going to be a try under the sticks. So some great work from Waitamata there to uh, score under the post. I think it may have actually been the opposing winger, Vivani Chapman, who's gone over. And um, you can see as they went round to score underneath the post, he slowly strolled his way in there and very lazily put the ball down. And why is he doing that, Corey? He's doing that to let the big boys have a breather. Yeah, I dare say there's a few tired-looking boys out there as the conversion, I think, goes over from in front. And why matter take the lead here at the Sports Safe ARL 9. Yeah, so the not going, half -time. Yeah, we've just, <laughs> just heard there's been a technical issue with the Hooter, so that will be half-time. So why matter six point shift little generals nil. 
as we head towards the break. And Troy? Yeah, what a matter of sea eagles be wrapped with that going to the halftime break, 6 0 yeah. up. So um, they'll need to, you know, keep that momentum going and um, they'll want more of the same. Uh, the Point Chivalier chat's going to be completely different, I'd say. And. Um, uh,